And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. <laughs> no tears. You're stronger than that. been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. I know it's a lot to ask, but we need you. Yeah, well, what do you want me to do? I know you still need time, time to, to heal, but... Be fine, Talia. Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think Let you're Asher ready... Let be Lord. I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. Only one way to find out. I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. Can I? I know you can. But smash! <laughs> I guess he's not handicapped. Oh, oh shit. Is handicapped. Fine. Did I go too fast? Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I was rolled in on a corpse, cat. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We Let can't Asher risk you falling where others place. can see. Let Asher be the head. Take my hand. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. Ready? Up we go. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> little by little, we'll make it. Eventually. Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed. Yeah, that there's been no lord. That Ethan is dead. Oh, we're at the wall. Nice. Garrett. Castle Black. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. The wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Recruits at the gate! Is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Oh, how do you want me to get here walking? Dick. Ooh. 
this way. Let's go see Jon Snow. Looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Hmm, because you got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Frostfinger? Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. Let's, uh... Well, let's go talk to Mr. Frostfink. Oh, that's why they call him Frostfinger. Missing fingers from frost by day. <coughs> you recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? Garrod. I'm Garrod Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Garrod Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. Or do you just fancy dying someplace cold? I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, Tuttle, I know all about you. Do you? You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. You don't know me as well as you think. I know enough. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Ooh, do I get one of those fancy ones? Oh, and Tuttle. Sooner or later. The Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. I am the Night's Watch. And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat and shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Yeah, let's go. Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring us some salted pork while you're at it. Can I talk <laughs> to yourself him? up, you lazy fuck. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? Yeah. He's hideous. And not missing my arms and legs. Had a oh, with Walder Frey, did and you? he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forrest is a real first. shame about your leg, well, my lord. A toss. Don't let go of your sister now. What a dis... What a dis... We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> what the fuck's this guy? Go round. You don't want to test me. Is that right? Because you look pretty sad to me. If 
Fuck this guy. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? Move! Now! Right, asshole. Go on then, my lord. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> and he starts to hunch over again. He builds himself so big. It's ridiculous. Move. You're treating them like the wine guests. keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. That is me, Roderick. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good... <clears throat> it's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. So I'm the right, amazed to Roderick's say it would be weeks now. before you were walking. What if you walked Asher? again at all, it was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. You call this walking? I can barely stand. Well, you're here at least, and a good thing too. Indeed, it is. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lords, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsey stole them. I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead and Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Because we have no army. It's because you have no balls. Silence. I am your lord. You're here to give counsel, not to quarrel at my table. Of course. Apologies, my lord. That's right. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. No allies? Houses Hilliver, Grayson, and Brownborough were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the Union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now? He's barely recovered. I'm not ready. My son, I understand your doubts, but if she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this yes, marriage would be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. Talia does have a point. I'm not the man I used to be. You can still make her happy, Roderick. And she can do the same for you. If Elena does come confidence. to Iron Rats, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. You see my face right now? Starve them out, and 